dear students let us learn about the types of leavening agents today baking is a process of cooking by dry heat especially in some kind of oven it is probably the oldest cooking method bakery products which include bread rolls cookies pies pastries and muffins are usually prepared from flour or meal derived from some form of grain bread already a common staple in prehistoric times provides many nutrients in the human diet this module will enable the students to understand the leavening action in baked foods learn about the different types of leavening agents apply the concept of leavening in baked foods the very first breads were unleavened they were more like flat tortillas made by moistening and baking ground nuts cereals grains or seeds the egyptians were uh, probably the first to leaven bread as early as 2300 bc they used bread mash which contained wild yeast from the air to lengthen doughs the egyptians were known to have used yeast as a leavening agent some 5000 years ago the mexican culture refers to yeast doughs as almas which translates to souls because they seem so spirited in rising the immigrants from europe had all brought their national recipes for bread and pastry making to america using brewers yeast or a sour dough process of one kind or another until the late 1700s naturally occurring airborne yeast was still the leavening agent of choice in 1868 the production of bread was advanced by the use of compressed yeast as a leavening agent a product developed by charles fleischman earlier bakeries had produced their own leavening agents with uneven result the first popular chemical leavening agent was pearl ash a crude form of potassium carbonate and alkali carbonates of soda were obtained from ashes of sea plants as well as from plants and was originally referred to as potashes the potash was used in baking as leavening agent until 1830s later a more favored baking soda that is sodium carbonate soon arrived on the scene baking powder became popular in the 1850s along with self rising flour that is the baking powder mixed with flour james a church began marketing sodium bicarbonate as baking soda under the arm and hammer label in 1867 baking soda was previously known as saleratus a combination of the latin sal that means salt and aratus is aerated in 1889 william m wright developed the double acting baking powder we know today marketed under the label calumet yeast starters have been traditionally handed down over the ages from family to family each keeping it alive over the years a portion was used from each batch with the remainder being fed by adding equal parts of flour and water and permitted to grow for another week or so these starters are also known as friendship starters a leavening agent is a substance used in doughs and batters that causes them to rise in the presence of moisture heat acidity or other 
triggers the leavening agent reacts to produce gas often carbon dioxide that becomes trapped as bubbles within the dough when a dough or batter is baked it sets and the holes left by the gas bubbles remain this is what gives breads cakes and other baked goods their soft sponge like textures a leavening agent is any one of a number of substances used in doughs and batters which lightens and softens the finished products incorporating gas bubbles into the mixture either by air incorporated through mechanical means or by carbon dioxide produced by biological agents or by chemical agents the function of raising agent is to puff up the food so that it rises thus making it light instead of close and heavy the tiny air spaces caused by the raising agents are retained during the process of cooking and the leavening of the flour mixture is accomplished by the expansion of incorporated air and by the internal production and expansion of water vapor and carbon dioxide when the product is heated the air expands and part of the water vaporizes carbon dioxide is produced either by the presence of a suitable microorganisms or chemical agents the gas production is accelerated and the gas expands as the temperature rises the air or gas trapped in the mixture helps to make the food light it expands further when heated but too much raising agent raises the food too rapidly and breaks the surface and allows the gas produced to escape and as a result the product sinks and becomes heavy it increases the volume of the product it improves the product by making it tender and lighter it improves the crumb color softness of the texture taste and smell it improves the digestibility leavening agents are substances that are used in batters as well as doughs which are used to soften the dough and it is also used for lightening it there are three types of leavening agents mechanical biological and chemical agents it produced air with an interaction with the heat moisture and acidity it is a bubble you see when you make dough when you mix dough the water and flour are mixed together you can see that there are holes that are left and this is an indication of the leavening agents present in the mixed dough you can buy them of course in any supermarket and online as well if you are very busy in this hub i will discuss some insights into the three different kinds of leavening agents pie doughs and similar products are usually unleavened but most bakery products are leavened or aerated by gas bubbles developed naturally or folded in leavening may result from yeast or bacterial fermentation from chemical reactions or from the distribution in the batter of atmospheric or injected gases layer cakes cookies that is sweet biscuits biscuits and many other bakery products are leavened by carbon dioxide from added sodium bicarbonate that is baking soda added without offsetting amounts of an acidic substance sodium bicarbonate tends to make dough alkaline causing flavor deterioration and discoloration and slowing carbon dioxide release addition of an acid reacting substance promotes vigorous gas evolution and maintains dough acidity 
within a flavorable range. Carbon dioxide produced from sodium bicarbonate is initially in dissolved or combined form. The rate of gas release affects the size of the bubbles produced in the dough, consequently influencing the grain, the volume and texture of the finished product. Much research has been devoted to the development of leavening acids capable of maintaining the rate of gas release within the desired range. Acids such as acetic from vinegar or lactic from sour milk usually act too quickly. Satisfactory compounds include cream of tartar that is potassium acid tartrate, sodium aluminum sulfate that is alum, sodium acid pyrophosphate and various forms of calcium phosphate. Baking powder has been made with different ingredients at different times. Now baking powder is made with sodium bicarbonate and monocalcium phosphate or sodium bicarbonate and sodium aluminium sulfate or just calcium acid phosphate. Cornstarch is often an ingredient added to postpone activity if the baking powder is in contact with moisture allowing the baking powder to be active later when it is heated in the oven. Instead of adding soda and leavening acid separately, most commercial bakeries and domestic bakers use baking powder, a mixture of soda and acids in appropriate amounts and with such added diluents as starch, simplifying measuring and improving stability. The end products of baking powder reactions are carbon dioxide and some blandly flavored harmless salts. All baking powders meeting basic standards have virtually identical amounts of available carbon dioxide differing only in reaction time. Most commercial baking powders are of the double acting type giving off a small amount of available carbon dioxide during the mixing and makeup stages then remaining relatively inert until baking raises the batter temperature. This type of action eliminates excessive loss of leavening gas which may occur in batter left in an unbaked condition for long periods. Microorganisms that release carbon dioxide as part of their life cycle can be used to leaven products. Varieties of yeast are most often used particularly Saccharomyces cerevisiae that is the baker's yeast though some recipes also rely on certain bacteria. Yeast leaves behind waste byproducts that contribute to the distinctive flavor of yeast breads. Yeasts are microscopic unicellular plant which multiplies rapidly and obtain energy by breaking down sugars to carbon dioxide and alcohol. This process known as fermentation and is brought about by the enzyme zymase found in yeast. The carbon dioxide released during this process is acts for the raising thus increasing the volume of the food and making it light. All commercial breads except salt raising types and some rye breads are leavened with baker's yeast composed of living cells of the yeast strain Saccharomyces cerevisiae. A typical yeast addition level might be 2% of the dough weight. Bakeries receive yeast in the form of compressed cakes containing about 70% water or as dry granules containing about 8% water. Dry yeast more resistant to storage deterioration than compressed yeast requires rehydration before it is added to the other ingredients. Cream yeast a commercial variety of baker's yeast made into a fluid by the addition of extra water is more convenient to disperse and mix than compressed yeast but it also has a shorter storage life and requires additional equipment for handling. Baker's yeast performs its leavening function by fermenting such sugars as glucose, fructose, maltose and sucrose 
इट कैन नॉट यूज लैक्टोज द प्रिडोमिनेंट शुगर ऑफ मिल्क और सर्टन अदर कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स द प्रिंसिपल प्रोडक्ट्स ऑफ फर्मेंटेशन आर कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड द लेवनिंग एजेंट एंड एथेनॉल ऑफ एन इम्पॉर्टेंट कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ द अरोमा ऑफ फ्रेशली बेक ब्रेड अदर ईस्ट एक्टिविटी प्रोडक्ट्स आर ऑल्सो फ्लेवर द बेक प्रोडक्ट एंड चेंज द डोज फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज द रेट एट विच गैस इज इवॉल्व by yeast during the various stages of dough preparation is important to the success of bread manufacture gas production is partially governed by the rate at which fermentable carbohydrates become available to the yeast the sugars naturally present in the flour and the initial stock of added sugar are rapidly exhausted a relatively quiescent period follows during which the yeast cells become adopted to the use of maltose a sugar constantly being produced in the dough by the action of diastatic enzymes on starch the rate of yeast activity is also governed by temperature and osmotic pressure the latter primarily a function of the water content and salt concentration it is a mixture of yeast and corn flour or corn meal pressed into cakes and dried the yeast lives in an inactive state and when put into favorable conditions it begins to develop and multiply it should be soaked in lukewarm water and mixed with very soft dough for a preliminary period of development before the addition of the rest of the ingredients it consists of granules of yeast with live yeast cells encapsulated in a thick jacket of dry dead cells with some growth medium active dry yeast ma- must first be proofed before use it can be stored at room temperature for a year or frozen for more than a year which means that it has a long shelf life if kept refrigerated it is a moist mixture of yeast plant and starch the yeast is active and grows and multiplies rapidly when added to the mixture it needs to be kept refrigerated and has a shelf life of only a few days but stays longer if kept in a freezing compartment chemical leaveners are chemical mixtures or compounds that release gases usually carbon dioxide when they re- react with moisture and heat chemical leaveners are used in cakes cookies and numerous other applications where a long biological fermentation is impractical or undesirable since chemical expertise is required to create a functional chemical leaven without leaving behind off flavors from the chemical precursors involved such substances are often mixed into pre-measured combinations for maximum result these are generally referred to as baking powder chemicals such as sodium bicarbonate cream of tartar baking powder ammonium carbonate are added to mixtures to make food light in each case the result is the production of carbon dioxide these are the chemicals which help in the raising action of food baking powder baking soda sodium aluminum phosphate ammonium bicarbonate potassium bicarbonate potassium bitartrate potassium carbonate baking powder is a dry chemical leavening agent used to increase the volume and lighten the texture of baked goods baking powder works by releasing carbon dioxide gas into a batter or dough causing bubbles and thus leavening the mixture it is used instead of yeast for end products where fermentation flavors would be undesirable or where the batter lacks the elastic structure to hold gas bubbles for more than a few minutes because carbon dioxide is released at a faster rate through the acid base reaction than through fermentation breads made by chemical leavenings are called quick breads sodium bicarbonate or sodium hydrogen carbonate is a white solid chemical compound that is crystalline but often appears as a fine powder it has a slightly salty alkaline taste resembling that of washing soda that is sodium carbonate the salt has many related names such as baking soda cooking soda bicarbonate of soda 
Colloquially, its name is shortened to sodium bicarb or bicarb soda. This integrates tiny air bubbles into the mixture using a whisk or certain liquids, notably cream or egg whites, creating foams through mechanical action. This is the method employed in the making of sponge cakes where vigorous whipping provides the structure of the finished product. Steam and air are used as leavening agents when they expand upon heating. The baking is done at high temperature to flash the water to steam with a batter that is capable of holding the steam until set. Water vapor formed in quantities is sufficient to raise the mixture thus making the product light. Air is incorporated into a mixture by the following methods. Sifting flour, creaming, beating eggs or any mixture. Angel food cakes, sponge cakes and similar products are customarily prepared without either yeast or chemical leaveners. Instead, they are leavened by air entrapped in the product through vigorous beating. This method requires readily forming ingredient capable of retaining the air bubbles such as egg whites. To produce a cake of fine and uniform internal structure, the pockets of air folded and during beating are rapidly subdivided into small bubbles with such mixing utensils as wire whips or whisks. The vaporization of volatile fluids example ethanol under the influence of oven heat can have a leavening effect. Water vapor pressure too low to be significant at normal temperatures exert substantial pressure on the interior walls of bubbles already formed by other means as the interior of the loaf or cake approaches the boiling point. The expansion of such puff pastry as used for Napoleons that is rich desserts of puff pastry layers and whipped cream or custard and voila won that is puff pastry shells filled with meat, fowl, fish or other mixture is entirely due to water vapor pressure. Below are foods or ingredients not leavened although some people mistaken them for leavening or leavened food. They pose no problem. Biblically speaking, puffed cereals, some food products are puffed up by mechanical means but cannot be used as a contact spreading agent. They are just puffed up by air and are not chemically leavened. They include popcorn, beaten eggs and air puffed cereal like puffed rice or wheat. Brewer's yeast is an inactive yeast meaning the yeast have been killed and have no leavening power. It is the yeast remaining after beer making. It is used as a nutrient supplement to increase the intake of B vitamins. Brewer's yeast comes powdered the most potent form in flakes best for health shakes and in tablets. When yeast cells die, they automatically break up a process called autolysis in which the yeast digestive enzymes break their proteins down into simpler compounds. What remains is a collection of proteins, fats, vitamins, minerals and monosodium glutamate MSG, a flavor enhancer. Although its name says soda, Soda pop is not leavened as if with bicarbonate of soda. It is made with water that has been infused with carbon dioxide in a non-leavening process. Dear students, to summarize this lesson, I would say that baking is very creative culinary art and baked foods are always a delicacy at all occasions and for all age groups. If you wish to have a perfect baked item, with a proper raising, it is very important to select an appropriate leavening agent. You would have uh, definitely well understood the history of leavening agents, the leavening action and the type of agent from this module.
the application of these concepts is a challenge to all of you and I hope that you will make use of this lesson in a judicious manner and prepare tasty baked foods which will encourage you to become entrepreneurs in the field of baking. Thank you.